Okay, everybody, welcome. We got some more Kelpies to do today. Uh, I added a little sketch based on that weird horse I did yesterday. <laughs> uh, it's kind of stupid. Anyway. So yesterday we chose, well, I chose uh, this uh, little sketch to work on. So I'm going to go ahead and blow up one of these and start adding detail or add some variations actually first. Um, I want to explore some shape design. I kind of like this uh, phi, like Greek letter phi. I think it's phi uh, looking shape. This one is not bad either. It's got this really nice flow to it. You can also explore some different positions for the legs. And, um, so why don't we go ahead? Uh, are they all the same layer? So this is the same layer as that, and that is a different one. This is new, so I'm just gonna compact them. The same one, we're gonna need this. I'm going to explore this one first, right? Wait up just a little bit. See what we can do with this. Maybe you can actually work on top. Your idea. But first, let's see. Um, the head, I want to be. I've added more of it. Okay. Maybe you can move it a little further out. Maybe. Yeah, this is kind of good. Now I'm going to add a new window so that... Yeah, I'm going to keep it smaller on my other screen so that I have some little reference in terms of general design. Um, So this is, I probably want something like a little Florida thing. Bend the neck a little bit too. You know, a little more than the eye. Yeah, I know it looks like a ball. This might need to go higher. Oops. Did I land that? This could be either those um, seaweed looking things like a seaweed mane or I do have a nice reference here for that actually it's like in my reference the, the whole horse is made of seaweed or whole kelpie that's a really cool design idea Let's see if I can kind of borrow from that by the way this is not called copying it's called being inspired by Hmm. Oh, I think I accidentally raised that um, cartoony horse. Too bad. Well, I'm gonna grab it from the with a string grab later. From the string. 
So instead of actually going on top of this, since I want to I want to work on this actually, this shape. I could have then or I could have this gigantic seaweeds. Maybe you can have something coming out of wherever. Something coming out of the base of the horse too. Either, could you either, either have uh, or be a skull? You know, this one is like a, the one I'm using as a reference is, is could be a dragon actually. But what if it's coming up? Dragon mustache. Oh, I keep forgetting laziness with me. Seaweed could also be here. See, instead of being the other side, it can be that. Duplicate it. Same. Hey, Chase, Industrial Chase. How are you? So I did not use the toilet horse, unfortunately. As you can see. Yeah. Because, <laughs> uh, uh, the reference I'm using kind of, well, inspiration that I'm using and I have them. So I'm like, oh, why not? Let's try that. Can't really claim it as my own idea. It's a little different, obviously, it's not like that. The main... Because I want this to feel like the king. I don't know if it's possible with this sort of... Because this looks like an actual main... Well, longer, obviously. But... I think that's really cool though. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. It's, it's a cool idea. That's why I'm sort of, let's say, borrowing. From this other artist, um, I should have taken the name off because it's really awesome. Big brothers, man. Sword and ribs. There's a water worm in my book that I base on a Chinese water dragon with the same long whiskers. Cool, I hope I get to draw that. Um, can you already share some details about the book? Any sort of lore about it yet? I'm quite curious, honestly. Very curious. I love it, there's a lot to go over. Well, I can read. <laughs> Just in general, like, okay, you said it's a high fantasy type of book. So...
Maybe this part is bony, glowing eyes. I always draw with glowing yellow eyes in my monsters. It's gonna have... The other part. Basically, the book takes place on a continent on the Earth or here. How do you pronounce that? Earth? It is divided up into several societies. The main ones being the humans and the Thal, which are like a barbarian society. Oh, the continent is called Hearth. Okay. Maybe it comes. Uh, there are sort of two main casts of characters, both humans and Thal, and they each sort of come together and se separate at various points. That sounds interesting. Don't want to get into story spoilers too much, of course. I need to write a basic summary of it. Cool. Yeah, no worries. Sounds good, though. Stringy and messy here. As far as I can understand, uh, you are also using some mythological creatures, like as you mentioned the manticore yesterday. Uh, was it yesterday or two days ago? I believe. It doesn't help me that much. But yeah, the water worm is part of a chapter involving one of the Thal characters. Dragons and worms are intelligent animals, so they speak to humans and such. Oh, nice. It's 
Let's look before the finish line. Yeah, yes. Yeah, there are some mythological characters. One of the main characters is a goblin, actually. Ooh. If you wanted to do some sketches that would be cool, not necessarily colored stuff, because I think it would be cool to do the kind of medieval sketch. Medieval sketch, like, so making them look very flat, um, like very two-dimensional, like the classic um, medieval stuff, or, or just black and white like inks. If you mean for the, I guess you mean for the inner pages, right? I was thinking, like, imagine you're an artist just sketching stuff in the world. The book takes place. Okay, just so just not like field sketches. would be, I don't know, could attach them. Being weed here and then. That the whole tail is made of seaweed here. My writing friend and I would go to this diner during college to discuss the book and people around us would listen and give us feedback. Ah, oh, that sounds nice. Did lead to an incident involving a drunk man wanting to fight. Over the book?
he wanted to fight you over the book's content. Go. I'm kind of looking where this is going. I don't know if I want to add spikes yet, but I'm going to lower the opacity and go on top of that. He just came over and asked us why we were both on laptops and that we should focus on eating. I told him to mind his bed. Strange. The only time I've been involved with a drunk person, it was a very strange Japanese guy. Uh, who was um, holding a shrine and he came over well they were all drunk like all of them holding the shrine were very very intoxicated the diner ended up kicking him out and gives free meals and apology well that's not too bad <laughs> now in my case this guy so it was a, like a festival day and all these guys bearing the shrine were drunk because apparently they start drinking in the early morning and they keep drinking like the whole freaking day. And so this guy, this guy was super intoxicated and he came to me, it was evening, and he looked at me, he was like, wait a second, you, your nose is too big. You're not from here. All right, obviously this is all in Japanese. And I'm like, uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> he was still polite, kind of annoying, but polite. <laughs> He was really intoxicated, really intoxicated. So, I can just make it as an actual horse. I'm gonna have to adjust the uh, perspective here once I warm the final just to have some sort of design. No. Still have like a longer type of mouth with teeth like that. Crocodile teeth. It looks a little less spectral than the other. All oh, right, because we should have a little more bone. My friend who is with me has been in some of your streams. His name is Samuel. Oh, yes, I remember a guy named Samuel. Cool. Tell him thank you for joining. First time They're more like little squiggly tentacles. Not not really whiskers. That maybe. Just generic. So, okay, let's try. Let's try the jellyfish crests. Don't talk about tentacles. I know it's it's a delicate topic. I'm just I'll be careful. I want the. Uh, voice synthesizing algorithm to pick it up and send over people who actually like tentacles for other reasons.
So this can probably end about here, and then we have another. This is weird. Wait a second. Um, I should not do this. If this stream goes uh, does get banned in Japan, you will be all right. True. Although I guess the tentacle mania is spreading to, to the west as well. I don't know, I've seen some pretty decent stuff on Twitch. Like it's it's always recommended in the first uh, in the homepage for some reason. I don't know why. I mean maybe they think, oh this guy's been in Japan. Let's serve them with weird streaming stuff. It's kind of sad though to see that most of the art streams are uh, basically waifus and half naked Japanese girls. Like, girls. It'd be cool to see a lot more like concept artists and people who actually, you know, do art, not just fan service. Let's see. That's not too bad. How big is anime in that style in Japan? It's pretty big. Annoyingly big. Although, there is a lot of very childish stuff to kind of counter that. Like, very, very, very childish. Unbelievably childish. Or everything in general is actually quite childish in Japan. Like, they even, even the, they have, um, oh, they, they handed over some flyers when we had, um, weather alert and they were all cartoony like childish childishly cartoony uh, I asked because sometimes Japanese tell Westerners not to go big into that kind of thing when visiting uh, I don't know I it, it is I mean they, they do that and they're kind of they tend to be kind of maniac unfortunately uh, your art is great. You got my sub. I just study a lot from your video. Oh, thank you. Um, Huivu. Sorry if I'm butchering your name or nickname. From YouTube. Um, the, the thing that I noticed in Japan is that there is a lot of not safe for work stuff. A lot. And there's also a lot of childish <laughs> content. Pretty much everything is childish there, even political debates. Everything is so uh, colorful. A friend of mine, uh, when I joined the stream a few weeks ago, he said, I bet, um, man, how do you call that? Wait, how do you call that in English now? Um, well, it's something akin to, I bet volcanoes erupt pixie dust in Japan, something like that. I guess it's more like the otaku culture you want to avoid looking like you're a, a part of. Yeah. Oh, the, the, the stigma on uh, otakus is huge, or at least it was huge. Uh, my wife was telling me that, that she, she, she was very uh, like, duh, for otakus. Like the, the Japanese, uh, in, at least those in the countryside where I was staying, they seem to be very, um, much rejecting the otaku culture as much as they could. Which is also exaggerated, but I think, you know, otakus in Japan are a little different than what we can imagine here. So it's not just people who like anime, they are actually really into it. Uh, to uh, 
a pretty unhealthy degree. <laughs> I for one was basically an attacker when I was a younger. But not like that, like not, not like they are in Japan. Or at least not the way I was explaining they are in Japan. Obviously I cannot then know if it's actually true. Because she hates a lot of stuff. <laughs> but... They, in general, the Japanese culture seems to have a lot of stigmas towards a lot of things. Like it was, I, I think I might have mentioned this already, but... Uh, they there are huge stigmas on um, mental issues. Like if you if you have some kind of mental disease in Japan, you're kind of screwed. So there is no support. Uh, your family is probably gonna banish you, ostracize you. The society is gonna kick you out of everything. This is what I've seen, and this is what I've been told. Even just going to. Um, uh, therapy is considered being nuts. That's pretty sad. Because maybe there are some simple issues that could be solved that way. But then obviously you got these insane, insane things. Uh, these insane, you know, not safe for work thing. <laughs> this sort of addiction to that type of content. Let's see. This, okay. Yeah, I think you mentioned that you're basically isolated. Yeah. It's not healthy. Let me try to figure out. This could probably be something like that. Maybe, oh, what about some gills here? All over the stomach. It's kind of low, but... You know. <laughs> or it could be here. Both, both places. This could even be... Not just legs, but... Something a little more. This could be something different. Could be down here. This could be the oops. Um, something like that. Maybe maybe this whole part could be seaweedish. Then oh uh, maybe in here. I mean So we wouldn't see this that as much. I can't see it in my preview because I moved it. Hmm, I don't know, it's kind of starting to look a little too complicated maybe. Get rid of this veil there and keep this very seaweed ish. Nemo, I just started to work on digital art from this month. Just practice with some brushes. Cool. Uh, were you drawing traditionally before? Like, what's your background? 
Or did you just start it? Did you just start uh, drawing recently in general? Uh, this is a question from YouTube, by the way. Uh, I gotta, I gotta, I've gotta add the the chat on video so that it's gonna be visible for you guys. Yes, for sure. You mean you just started drawing in general? Oh, traditional. Okay. Yeah, my background is traditional too. I'm thinking this part in the back is gonna, is gonna be a little, not in the shadow, but it's gonna be a little subdued, maybe. But, it's new, but digital, okay. Oh yeah, well it's not, do you have um, a display tablet? Or uh, just a just a regular tablet. Hopefully you're not drawing with the mouse. That would be painful. Some people do actually. I've learned some people do. Yeah, a whack on. Cool. Yeah, I have um, a Cintiq, a Cintiq, what, 16? Non pro. It's kind of lame sometimes, but it does its job decently enough. Do I want the other leg? Yes, I do. Let's see. So, forward, back, something like this. We. I'm gonna go somewhere in this direction so we got the leg going this. Now, where is my other splash reference? Do I have it here? Please be here. No, it's not. Uh, I just don't know how people used to blend the shading so smooth. Uh, time. A lot of time. Also, you can try using the mixer brush. Um, there or not. Like uh, here, see there is a mixer brush tool if you... <coughs> Excuse me. If you keep pushed, uh, or just keep hitting, I think it's shift B to switch the brush. You're gonna have this mixer brush thing that is act is gonna act like oils, sort of. It's a little complicated to use though. Most people just do a lot of color picking. So you, it's like, so you got the space color here, and then you color pick, and then you color pick again and again and again and again and again. And again. You keep color picking until you get a smooth finish. And that takes a long, 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 long time. Obviously, right? Something like that. Obviously, this is just special. <laughs> you get the gist of it.
So here, let me actually grab um few my other flash reference. Can I copy it to the other one? Yes, I can. All right, so I'm gonna use this sort of reference for the splash. I want to add some th that sort of effect. I think. See how it actually looks. It's gonna have to be a little more splashy as Florally, you pass me the term. Because technically a puddle, a splash in a puddle would do the opposite thing. So not swirling this way, but kind of something like that. Right, because the water gets pushed up. So, so do something like that, a little more subdued. Or you can have a surround you whole thing, but then it looks like a boss, so maybe not. Um, Oh, but somehow I feel the shading is so rough. Well, I guess it also depends on the brushes you use. But it takes, uh, if you started just a few days ago, basically, it's gonna take time to master it. A long time. <laughs> so. Let's see where we're at. This is not... This is not too bad. This part of the tail sucks. Now I'm gonna change it up a little bit. It's, 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 it's gonna have to look a little mossy, but... Or it's gonna blend to it. I did not dislike it, let's say. I do feel it's very complicated. Uh, I like these gills on the abdomen. I might just keep them. And I like the idea of the whiskers too. Although it's got, well, I mean, it's got two on one side, it might be up below it, underneath. Um, maybe something. Not terrible. Like the hard brushes. Um, the hard brushes, like, well, you might want to play around with the brush setting. I do. Oops. The brush settings, like, uh, now I got stuck. Um, not this. Uh, transfer. Like, I have flow control, control by pen pressure, as well as the opacity. We've got a little jitter on this one. Nemo, do you know any sprite artist that would be willing to look at sprites I've created to help with coloring and shading? I don't really know any sprite artist, like anyone that does it professionally, at least. I wish I were a sprite artist, but it's so damn slow. Unfortunately, there was a guy, um, actually I do know a guy. I don't know if he does it as a job though. His name is Chris Pariano. Um, I know he did, did work on a game. I am not aware of his fees eventually or anything. And I don't know if he does that still, but um, I can reach out to him on Twitter probably or Discord and see if he's interested in that. He's in the US, by the way. I don't know, how do I feel about this silhouette? It's not bad, per se. 
just want to rework that a little bit more first. This one, I like the dead kind of ish look, but it's not much of a Kelpie. Uh, what about the previous ones? I can still I can still try this. I can still try this one. Actually. I know, I'm not 100% convinced by that. These, okay, maybe I'm gonna try Sail. Sail or something like that. I'm really bad at shading on sprites, I just get lazy. And do pillow shedding. I'm I'm pretty lazy with sprites too. It, it takes a lot of patience, and I am I'm not a patient person. <laughs> I'm definitely not patient. I don't know. I kind of like this one. This. It's just that it feels complex. I don't know if I want to go for that kind of complexity at this stage. It also needs some adjustment. Um, in the curves, like this is basically a horizontal line, which I do not like. Hmm. Uh, this, hmm. this one. Instead of doing this, let me actually hide those. Take this. Or duplicate it. And get rid of this mess. This. This first thing is going to play with it. But I can turn this into a sail. Just, just a sail. It's a lazy approach. It's like it's ups and downs of parts that are higher than others. And the tail would be Go say here. This would be more like um, what's it called, lovefish? The the one that it's very, it's got it's got like drapery basically. That's it. What a mess. Get rid of the whiskers. Okay, the whiskers must go. And then this also must be redesigned. I prefer the simpler design of the sail. What do you guys think? 
I'm so undecided. Let's get here. Uh, dead horse face, obviously. Maybe some teeth or statue here. I know it's still kind of messy, so it's hard to tell. But let me liquefy. Okay, this is this is definitely gonna be a little more liquefied like that. It's missing something in the top part. It's definitely missing something up there. So it would it would mean adding surf and splashes here. They go up like that. I think I like the simpler sail. The other one looks cool, but it's kind of distracting, right? I think it's too distracting. Um, maybe I can try the sail with the other uh, tail. How about that? Let's see. Obviously, the sail is a little too simple now, so I can fix it up just a tad, but let's see. Oops, not even needing this, but this feels so you have a I have another idea. It's kind of starting to look a bit like a Chinese dragon. <laughs> what if What if this thing kind of sprouts or springs out of water? Like this is, it's water and then becomes the horse. Let me just explore it for a second. And I'm gonna have to choose one, obviously. So I just want to explore it real quick. So back up. So if I get if I turn this back into a roof and get rid of that, get rid of this, get rid of all this mess. Oop, not it. Not all of it. Okay, what if this is actually Something like spring, I don't know. This is all water. I find a shapes. Yes. Comes out of that. The water then becomes Worse, although uh, obviously here, well, it's gonna have to be something like that. Be a little higher than that. Yeah, I don't know. 
This is not exactly incorporated with the design, so... Hmm. Leer shapes here. Perhaps without. Hmm. hmm. It is dynamic, but I don't know how I feel about it. Not a hundred percent convinced. Oh, what happened here? Hey, he got stuck. Left. So I don't know if I want to go for the whole moving out of splash idea. It's not bad per se. It's also taking up a lot of space, not too much to me. I don't dislike it. What do you think, Chase? Bringing out of this thing. So this the body would be made of water here in the back. So the idea is that the tail is connected to the water. Basically, it's like, it's like coming out of the water. Yeah. It's like partially made of water, maybe it's also fading, like blue fading into the body. I don't know. Or let me take the previous one that. Uh, was it that? That was the previous one. You can just try adding this tail to that. And I would have to reproduce Obviously, the whiskers. Oh, I didn't have it. Oops. Introduce those whiskers. Yep. 
No way. Jesus, I hope I saved. <laughs> I so hope I saved. Uh, it crashed. Ah, uh, I hate Photoshop. Please, please be saved. Oh, no. Okay. It's fine. Okay, so it's just the last one. Oh, man. That freaked me out. Yeah, we lost a little bit of progress, not much. This one. Okay. Yeah, Photoshop. See my fist to the heavens. Suck, Photoshop. Thanks God I'm using Psy for the finals. That would not be pretty if it happened. I have to waste so much for it, it's not even stable, right? It's really annoying, really exceedingly annoying, Adobe. So don't complain if people do not pay for your software. It's really not well done. Sorry to say that. But you know that. You know. You freaking know. That's work. All right. Um. I have to get rid of some things here. Maybe there are too many stringy things. This is not bad though. It's just a horse with a sail. I can make it better. Oh, what did I do? I can make it better. It's a horse with sail and seaweed. give you that it's not particularly interesting to look at but that's what a kelpie is right so if I can have this sort of effect so we have one two three Okay, I think this one is a good candidate. I have to redraw the whiskers though, necessarily, because they don't look good. Too bad I lost the previous one because I like the puddle design that I had done. And this is still springing out of water anyway. I think I like this one more. The one with the water tail is a neat idea, but also seems a little bigger and more complicated. Right, this could be made into some sort of boss, maybe, I don't know. This one is more acceptable. Oh, now the tail is too long. Okay. Alright, something like that, maybe? Yeah, having the water on the front hooves is a better compromise. Yeah, I think so. This could it would still be something like this too. Let's see, because I gotta balance it. Right now it feels a little bit out of balance. It, it feels... So, okay, let's pretend, let's go with this, okay? So I have, what's this empty layer? Nothing. Let's get rid of it, at least make sure, okay. 
Alright. So if I flip it, see it's it needs something on that side. So I could I could add some water like this. Just splashing surf. And then keeping a backup. Liquify just the whole pose a little bit so that it makes add more sense. To pale the yellow. I, know, I think it's a, it would be a good idea to add these blobby splashes there to kind of balance it. I think this looks... So if we take the previous one, you can see there's a little bit of a difference. I think this one reads a little better now. It's still got the nice phi, <laughs> although it's probably this, uh, look. And I could play around with let's play around with the sail a little bit so that it's not as boring. I have a marlin fish photo somewhere. All right. So maybe I can add some of the spikes. Um, wait, maybe I want I want this to be even more. I do want these uh, little things. I don't know about the whiskers. Hmm. They might be an overkill. Something like that. Dragon whiskers. Isolated like that. Hmm. Might be an overkill. Might be an overkill. Hmm, I gotta figure out this would be something like that. Should be here spikes. Do I want the maybe just the top would we'll still be like visible? Something like that. But it's got muscles. Probably needs to be here or something like that. Solid candidate. Struggle. Yeah, uh, the sale is a is simpler so that it provides a degree of rest in the design. So the, this would be somewhere like here. And then attaches. I don't know about the gills. How do I feel about the gills? Hmm. This is all seaweed. This thing is definitely going to it's it's a better better spot for it. Here and here. Definitely a better spot. The gills in the body, I like them. Yeah, these. They make little sense, technically. Because the air would have to travel down the body. <laughs> and then get here. But, you know, you know it's a, a JRPG monster and nobody cares. Like, 
bisa dialdai. Uh, the seaweed here, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna keep it. The seaweed on the, let me know on the hoof. Or it could even be, it doesn't have to be a hoof actually. It could be a pointy thing. No hooves in the back. It simplifies our lives a little bit. Maybe they look like gills, but they are <laughs> battle scars. Now nah, I'm gonna make them look like gills. What do you think about just removing the hooves in the back and leaving these uh, seaweedish sort of things? No, not just the back, just leaving these, uh, sorry, I've got to get closer to the microphone. Uh, leaving these pointy fins, I don't know how to call them, instead of the hooves. They might be too distracting though, now that I look at them. They are a little distracting. Or I couldn't, I could even get rid of the whole back legs. Yeah, I don't like the fact that they are so pointy. No, I think it looks so better. Right, I hope I still have layers. Not layers history. Ah, I don't. Take the other one back. Something like this. Yeah, I think I like it. It's not flaming, obviously. Oh no, no, it's crashing again. No! Oh. Okay, before it crashes. All right. See. I do is this point sometimes I try to fill the whole thing. I don't know if I want the whiskers. Mm. Still not sure. Even add a It looked a bit weird having hooves in the front and pointy nose in the back. Yeah. Yeah, this is much better. Much better. Do I want, yeah, maybe these. No, not the ones.
Okay, I think I'm gonna go with this kind of design. Just leave some room on the head so I can make a horn variant. Oh, uh, you do have room here. See? Here. There you go. <laughs> I'm thinking about the horn. Um, or horns. I might want to add some... But I don't know if it feels like a Kelpie anymore than... Like the head might be a little small. Making it look kind of huge. How about that? Mm, I think this looks good. around here um this might need the thicker hmm. not bad looking Maybe the horn could be here. It could be like a longer spike. That's like a horn. Kind of reminds me of that in some one design I did. Maybe perspective is going to need to be adjusted. Okay, this is not too bad. Not too bad at all. I don't know if I want to just... This might be okay. This might actually be okay. Like this. Let me see. You like the horn in this now? I feel it's like it's a little too balanced though. So maybe I should I should remove some of this. Just get rid of some together. Well, I feel like it needs something to carry the eye over. But I think it does a good job describing like where the eye should look. Down this way or around and down. straight now a 
I still feel like there's too much stuff in that. But I guess it's gonna be for tomorrow. Maybe I can do something more like this. Oh no. Um I kinda like how dynamic it is though. Could also be flying, doesn't need this much image. We'll see tomorrow. So, um, yeah, we are done for today. Because I hit my hard limit at 6.30. .30. Here is my phone. And the stream. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. And I uh, hope you have a, a good evening. I am going to see you tomorrow at the same time. Cheers.